Hi first grade, today's video is all about calendars. Today I will learn to read and understand a calendar, to solve problems involving a calendar. Here are some quick notes about a calendar. A calendar helps us to keep track of days, weeks, months, and years. By reading the calendar, we can know what year, month, and day it is. There are 12 months in a year. The 12 months are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Here's a little poem to help us remember how many days are in each month because each month does have a different number of days. 30 days has September, April, June, and November. So that means that September, April, June, and November all have 30 days. All the rest have 31. So that means all of the other months have 31. Oh, but here we go, except February. It's the one which only have 28 days clear and 29 in each leap year. So there are 30 days in September, April, June, and November. All the other months have 31 except for February. February is a, an odd month. It only has 28 days. Except when we have a leap year and then it has an extra day. So, first grade, what month are we in right now? Yep, we are still in April. Almost May, but we're still in April. And how many days since we are in April do, do, does the month have? Yep, 30 is correct. Now next month is what month? But May, and May has how many days? 31, because that is one of the other months. Remember, all the rest have 31. May is in that group of months that has 31 days. Good job, first grade. So let's learn. A calendar shows the days in each month. So if you look, there are our 12 months listed there. Mm -hmm. And again, so a question is, how many months are in one year? Yes, there are 12 months in one year. Can you name the second, third, and fourth months? So look at your months on the screen. You see, they start with January and it goes down in rows and then it ends with December. What would be the second month in the year? So let's count, let's say our months. And when we get to second, I want you to stop. You ready? January, February. Yep, February is the second month. Let's keep going, let's stop on the third. March, up, oh, yep, March is the third month. April, yep, that's the fourth month. So January's one, February's two, March is three, April is four, and we are in the fourth month right now because we are in April. May is five, June is six, July is seven, August is eight, September is nine, October is 10, November is 11 and December is 12. Yes, those are the 12 months in a year. While we're on this page, let's then talk about how many days are in a week. How many days first grade are in a week? Now remember days are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, those days. How many do we have in one week? We do have seven. We have Monday, count with, say them with me. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Very good, let's do it again. Say it with me. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Very good, give, give yourselves a silent cheer. You did an awesome job. So let's practice. 
on this page you see that I have given you a calendar for January. Now on a calendar, this is what we'll see, and I know you've seen them in the classroom, you will see little squares with numbers inside of them. And each number is put for a, a day. So look at this calendar and tell me what do you what is the title of our calendar or what is the month of this calendar? Yes, it is January. Good job. Pat yourselves on the back. You did an awesome job answering that question. Now let's look at the calendar. How many days are there in a week? Seven, yes. Now notice that the one starts on Monday. That means that every month doesn't start on the same day. It's not always gonna start on a Monday. It's not always gonna start on a Sunday. It's how the numbers line up. So for example, on this calendar, Monday is the first, okay? So follow along, follow along all the way to the end, January, 31 days there. Do you see the last day of January is on a Wednesday, the 31st? Do you see it at the bottom of your calendar? So that means for February, the first day will be on what day? Comes after Wednesday, Thursday, yes. The numbers just keep going and going and going. We never stop, we just keep adding numbers. All right. So let's see, you're going to need your blue crayon and your yellow crayon. But the first thing I want you to do is I want you to, and this is in your book, so you need to use your book. I want you to fill in all of the missing numbers, missing dates. See, the missing dates are where those question marks are. I want you to fill them in. So let's start. Monday is the first. They have that for us. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> Saturday's missing. What is Saturday going to be? If Friday was the 5th, Saturday will be the 6th. So write a 6 in that first box for me, please. All right, now we have 6 for Saturday. 7, what comes after 7? 8, good job. Fill that Monday in with the question mark as an 8. Good job. 9, 10, good. Wednesday should be on a 10. Very good. 11, Friday should be the 12th, good. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. <gasps> Sunday should be the 21st, 21, good job. Monday, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Uh-oh, Monday's missing, the last Monday of the month. <gasps> 29, what comes after 29? That's gonna be your Tuesday. 30. We're just counting by one, so you're just filling in the missing numbers. Now we can use those blue and yellow crayons. Now, remember, I always tell you use a crayon because markers are going to bleed through your paper, and then you're not going to be able to do your work on the back, on the next page. So let's use crayons or colored pencils or twistables, remember? Okay, good job. All right, so number one says weeks with seven days. So let's see, we're gonna color the weeks with seven days. I want you to look for the weeks that have a full seven days in there on that calendar. So if you colored the week of the seventh, so that's the seventh, eighth, ninth, 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th blue, you're correct. If you colored the week of the 14th, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, that should be blue as well. And the week after that, which was 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, those three weeks should be color blue. So the week of the 7th through the 13th should be blue. The week of the 14th through the 20th should be blue. And the week of the 21st through the 27th should be blue. Great job. Now let's get that yellow crayon. The yellow crayon we need to use to color the first and last day of the month. So. What is the first day of the month? Yep, the first is the first day of the month. So color that number one box yellow. And what about the last day of the month? What day, of, what day is that? Yes, Wednesday the 31st is the last day of the month. So color that 31 box yellow. All right, first grade, what we're gonna do is you're going to continue practicing without me. You are going to use 
your calendar skills to complete your work that I have assigned. It's very easy. Remember, we use calendars all the time, all the time, and you don't realize you're using them, but we are. Remember, there are seven days in a week, right? Let's say them again one more time before we leave. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Silent cheer, great job. And how many months are in a year? Correct, 12. Let's say them together. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Great job. Well, guys, that's all for the, today's video. You did an awesome job, and I'll talk to you next time.